I never know how to greet new people I meet. In the Middle East, where I'm from, we kiss each other on the cheek anywhere from two to five times. Here in the US, you give a hug or a handshake. Because I'm often confused, I try to adapt my greeting based on physical cues. Someone sticks out their hand, I know to shake their hands. I notice the microbe I work with, Canada albicans, does something similar to adapt to our immune system. C. albicans is a fungus that lives on most of us without causing much harm. But for people with weak immune systems, C. albicans infections are quite deadly. I study how this microbe is able to sense and adapt to antimicrobials released by immune cells. For example, C. albicans encounters sulfite released by certain immune cells. In high quantities, sulfite kills C. albicans. However, if it encounters a small amount of sulfite first, it can quickly adapt and become resistant to higher amounts. I study the genes and metabolic pathways involved in this adaptation process. So even though Canada albicans lives on many parts of our bodies, our mouth, our skin, even our gut, it doesn't get confused like I do when it comes to adapting to certain cues and stresses. C. albicans will never awkwardly kiss the back of someone's head instead of giving them a hug like I have done several times. With my research, however, I hope to find new drug targets to make Canada albicans more awkward, like me, and ultimately less deadly. Thank you.